this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a topic video for Top 10 Guilty Pleasure TV Shows. Um, yes, this wasn't a recommended um, topic, but I will have a recommended topic on Dark Avenger Inc. this week, so go check that out. I'm trying to get some of those uh, ideas I had on my topic, uh, topic video list, so if you don't see as many recommended videos, uh, I'm still doing them, don't worry. Uh, I just want to get some of those out of the way. Um, so this is one of the ideas I did have, thought it would be fun, and again, there will be a recommended video for Dark Avenger Inc. this week, though, and if you guys have any recommended videos for topic videos, just tell me in the comments below, and if I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks it'll either be on Dark Avenger Inc. or Comic Uno, because I double dose my topic video. So usually for Comic Con, I have them every Thursday with my comic book reviews. And for Dark Avenger Drink, I have them every Sunday. Um, so go check those out. And let's talk about top 10 guilty pleasures. And I'll be doing this 10, 9, 8. That way, first one's a surprise. Alright, so again, these are guilty pleasures, so don't yell at me. Um, these are shows I enjoy that most people might not. And um, you guys might be like, she enjoys this. Uh, yeah, there's some shows there. Um, but yeah, everyone has their guilty pleasures. My friend, actually, um, my friend Luke from Comic Duo, or was from Comic Duo, um, and from the vlogs and stuff, he doesn't believe there are guilty pleasures. But I feel like there are. There's some shows you don't want to mention that you like, but you watch. You like them. Um, but these are guilty pleasures I really enjoy. I like these shows, uh, but I know they're guilty pleasures. Um, so number 10, let's talk, we know the definition of guilty pleasures now. And you know, this is, this is confidence to actually reveal your guilty pleasures. Most people don't. Uh, alright, so number 10 is a show called Wolf Blood. Uh, it's a British show, it's like a British kind of kid show, but teen show, it's said. Um, it's about this girl who has werewolf powers, and, um, it's a family of werewolves, but they're not bitten, they're like, it's a family trait, and it's a cool show, it's kind of like a high school show, but I didn't really enjoy it, it's a British show, it's coming back season two for, uh, in Britain, uh, so I don't know how I'm gonna watch it, but, um, it's coming back in, um, October, and it should be premiering in, in America on Disney Channel, so, uh, we'll see, but I liked it, I really liked it, I watched the whole show in, like, one day, um, it's a really good show, I enjoyed it, and something you could definitely binge, uh, really quickly, because there's only 13 episodes, but it's a guilty pleasure, but I like it. Alright, number 9 is a show I watched a couple years ago, I haven't watched it in a while, but, uh, still really enjoy it, and that is Tower Prep. It's actually written by Paul Dini. It was on Cartoon Network. Um, it was a live action show, so I know people might not like it because of that. Because uh, it's Cartoon Network, they don't deserve to be live action. It's called Cartoon. Um, but no, it's a really good show. It was really well written. It reminds me of Morning Glories, actually, except less confusing. Uh, we finally found out the mystery in the last episode, but got cancelled. And there was definitely more to that mystery, and I was kind of upset. Um, that we couldn't see more of it, and there was, there was their fans for that show, so there, people wanted more from it, but, um, I liked it a lot, I thought the mystery was very good, the characters were very interesting, and there are some sort of super, superpowers here, so I really enjoyed that, um, it's like 13 episodes again, a short-lived show, but, uh, Paul Dini wrote it, so you know it's not all bad, uh, very, I really enjoyed it, I liked it, I remember I actually showed my family it, and they liked it, they watched the ending with me, it's a very good mystery show, which I, I wish lasted longer, probably should have been on a different network to really last longer, like, if it was on ABC Family, I think it would have done a lot better, the main guy was actually on Pretty Little Liars, so, I don't watch that show, but obviously it would have been a good demographic. Uh, alright, number eight is, actually it was on my favorite 90s list also, and that's Seventh Heaven. Uh, yeah, the show that lasted a billion seasons. Um, I really like this show. I love the drama to it, but I also like the wholeness of the family, you know. Um, the guy who plays Derek from Teen Wolf is in it. Um, yeah, that was cool. Um, it's kind of cool to see the younger Derek. Uh, but I love this show. I, I love the, the family aspect to it. I thought the characters were interesting. My favorite character was Lucy and Kevin. Um, I liked her and how much she grew, and I loved Kevin, I loved their relationship. Uh, but it was a cool show. I know a lot, it, it went out there as seasons went on. Uh, the last episode was about RV trip. Not joking about that one. Um, that was a horrible last episode. Maybe I should do the worst last episodes ever, because that would actually, if you want me to do that, tell me in the comments below. I'll definitely do a list for worst last episodes ever. And I think that would definitely top it, <laughs> because that was a horrible last episode. But it's still a good show. A very good guilty pleasure. It's one of those dramas. It's like Degrassi, kind of. I used to like Degrassi also. Another guilty pleasure. I don't really watch it anymore, but I did like that for a little while. Uh, but it's like one of those shows, except, you know... It was on, I think, it was on WB also, so it was a good show, though. I liked it. Um, all right, number seven. Uh, you guys are going to yell at me at this one, but it's one of my favorite guilty pleasures. I've loved it for years. Uh, may not loved it, but I watch it on and off in the every episode. Uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah. Yeah, I like keeping up with Kardashians. And not, not because I like the people, I really, I mean, they're okay, the Kardashians, but you know, it's like they're just doing this all for fame, and 
they have a reality show, yeah. But it's entertaining as hell. You know what that mother does all the time? <laughs> she lost her weave in, um, on vacation on Greece last time. And then that whole, if you saw that last episode with Brody and Chris, that was crazy. Uh, Brody's like, oh, you, all you like is money. He's like, no, I don't. I lo I just love that that dynamic and that bickering and then you just follow along with the news and like is is uh Chris and Bruce still together I don't know and then you know we saw the whole Kim and Chris divorce in like 50 days um you never see Kanye which I really would like to see Kanye interact with Kim um I like Chloe the best I never really liked Chloe um when I first started watching I watched this for a while Nine Kardashians I think I watched it from like season one I was like in seventh grade I think or eighth grade I started watching it so uh, I've been watching Keeping Up with Kardashians for a while so I, I went on and off with it um yeah but I I don't know why I'm just always entertained with that show so I do watch it I don't watch it on time watch it on demand but it's a good show to waste a good hour it's a really guilty pleasure though it's one I really like it <laughs> um all right number six is Super Ninjas yeah it's a kid show. I liked it. I thought the writing was okay. The villains were really out there. But I really liked the character um, interaction with them. I liked the main characters. Um, acting was eh. But I liked the story. I don't know. I like high school stories for some reason. Um, I li And I liked um, the cast. I thought they were very close. And I liked that. Um, it did get cancelled after season two. You see, you see the pattern here. Everything gets cancelled. That These guilty pleasures I like. Um, but uh, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I was upset when it did get cancelled. But it's, it's okay show. I wouldn't say, I would never recommend anyone to watch it. I wouldn't. But I liked it. <laughs> uh, I, I remember, I would never tell, um, usually me and my friend Luke and obviously my brother um, Alex, we, we usually like uh, watch a show that one of us likes. You know, sometimes we have to force each other to do that. But, um, I would never wa make them watch Super Ninjas. It's just like, I, I don't think anyone would like it. I It's just only me. I know that. <laughs> so Super Ninjas, definitely, um, is a guilty pleasure. Um, number five is actually a pretty old show. Um, it definitely a guilty pleasure. I don't know if it was a guilty pleasure at the time. But, uh, like a late 80s, early 90s show called Out of This World. Don't even think you guys will know it. Um, I found this really randomly. Um, most of the episodes are on YouTube. I have most of the episodes. And, um... It's a good, it's a bad show. I mean, she, the way she, her power, she's an alien. The show's about her being a half alien. Her dad is, um, out in space, can't go back because there's some war going on. The person who plays the Even Stevens' mother is in it. Um, her name's Donna in that, um, Donna Garland. And, uh, her powers is to put her two fingers together and stop time. And then clap to bring time back. That's a cheesy show, but uh, I like it. I don't know. I just like the, the it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Um, I guess it, that's what a guilty pleasure is. You just like the corniness of it. Uh, and I've never seen a show like it. So it lasted four seasons. Uh, the Cliffhanger, another show where it ended badly. Um, it's just like, why did I spend all my time watching this? But it's a fun show. Uh, no one really found out she was half alien except her two uncles and her mother. Uh, her friends never found out, but she, yeah, it was weird. But it was a good show. I liked it. Uh, no, it was a bad show, but I liked it. <laughs> um, alright, number four is a guilty pleasure. Um, H2O just add water. Yeah. Uh, it's a mermaid show. Um, if you know Phoebe Tonkin and Claire Holt from, uh, Vampire Diaries, now in the originals, they started there. Um, it's a... The animation's not, I mean, the CGI is not that bad, actually. It's an Australian show also. I find a lot of these weird shows, um, either Australian or Britain or, you know, I do find these uh, shows from other countries also. Uh, but yeah, it's actually become pretty popular. Um, the the spin-off was on Netflix, so it's obviously in demand. Um, it's a, again, it's a pretty popular show. It's on Nickelodeon, I think it aired uh, all their seasons. Um, it's on Netflix. I, I would say watch it. It's a, it's a cool adventure show. Um, the acting... It's okay. It's okay acting. The story, I think there's actually some story there. Um, there's some layers. Um, it was their start, so it's kind of cool to see how they grew up. So, uh, if you like those two actresses, definitely recommend the show. Um, and if you like Supernatural stuff, I do recommend it also. And hopefully Kariba Hine does go on the originals one day, because I would love to see the mermaids together. Uh, number three. Uh, I think a lot of my viewers are, um, guilty pleasure of this. Uh, Power Rangers. Uh, I would say this is this is a guilty pleasure. Um, it's cheesy as hell. <laughs> um, I think I love the action for it. I mean, there's not a lot of character development. <laughs> so uh, I love the action, uh, especially... There was some story in the Mighty Morphin, especially as they ran out of Japanese footage. You're like, oh, we gotta figure out some story. Um, and they actually had a real story to end Kimberly's uh, um, run, or her 
Pink Power Ranger run. So that was cool. So the Mighty Morphin actually had some good story, uh, but you know, there's some cheesiness to hear. I mean, they're plastic monsters. Uh, the mo the monsters are called putties. Uh, so yeah, there is then probably one of my most guilty pleasured shows. Again, on this list is kind of my favorite shows, though, like what I like the most also. So uh, if it was like most guilty pleasure show, you probably wouldn't tell anybody it's Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, so I love it. I, I want that, the, the Red Ranger head for the 20th anniversary because I never got the um, season... Mighty Morphin collection, so I would love to get that one day, but uh, it is a guilty pleasure, but I will always review it and always watch it. I love it. Um, number two, and this show is actually returning. I'm happy. Um, now, I used to watch this show a lot at my grandparents' house, um, and I remember when the movie came out, um, and I, I'm not going to reveal the show yet. When the movie came out, I'm going to see if you guys know it. It's from Cartoon Network. It was prop, I think it was part of Toonami, maybe not. It was one, maybe No. I don't know. It was one of those, like, four o'clock time slot things. Um, maybe it was Toonami, I don't know. Um, but anyways, so when the movie came out, I was like super excited and it never came out again. And that movie was called Totally Busted. And then there was a movie where they did um, Walk Like an Egyptian to go around a school in their movie called Totally Spies the Movie. It's a French show. I think you got it. It's Totally Spies. Yeah, um, I like this show. Even though it's really corny, it's like that Beverly Hills, oh, like, you know, um, the Valley Girl type of, uh, show. But it's just entertaining as hell, and I think it's more childhood things. I used to love this as a kid, so I still like watching the show. Sometimes I haven't watched it in a little while, but I think I've seen the episodes enough to know what's happened. Um, still remember the episodes. So, uh, I used to watch the show all the time, though. Now episode six is coming, and I think I might review it because, I mean, season six is coming, and I, I was, I shouted when I heard that news. I'm like, oh my god, season six, it's only spies. So I was very happy to see that. Um, one of my biggest guilty pleasure shows, and I, again, I think that's more because of kid nostalgia than anything, but I'm excited for season six of Totally Spies. Uh, now number one, um, I was actually asking my brother what he thought my Guilty Pleasure shows was, and he, he knew all my Guilty Pleasure shows, because, uh, he knows what shows are, I guess, people think are bad, but I think are good, and he says, D you have to add this one, and I was like, I, I don't think it's a Guilty Pleasure show, I think it's a good show, and I guess I have to add it, um, as a, my number one Guilty Pleasure shows, because it's one of my favorite TV shows of all time, and that's Secret World of Alex Mack. Yeah, I love this show. Um, I, I like the character, um, Alex, because she's so different, you know, um, she's a normal girl, obviously with superpowers, but, um, she just, I liked her attitude on things, and I guess she kind of had that same attitude as May, where, you know, she treated everyone well, I just like that type of character, where, um, she's not a geek, she was not popular either, she was just kind of normal, kind of like a Liz McGuire character, I would say. Um, except not klutzy. Uh, but I just like the characters, and I think, uh, for a Nickelodeon show, the supporting characters were there, uh, the story was very, was there, and, uh, I guess it's a guilty pleasure show, because she turns into a puddle, and I think if people hear that, it's like, oh, she turns into a puddle? That's a little weird. Uh, but it's a really good show. The, the graphics aren't really there, because it's a 90s Nickelodeon show, but I think it's honestly a really well-written show. Um, and the ending was actually good. Um, a show that ended well because the actress wanted to go to college, but um, it ended pretty well. And um, again, it's one of those shows that actually didn't be like, oh my god, we have to come up with an ending quick because we got canceled. Um, or they thought they were going to get picked up. Um, so yeah, those are my top 10 guilty pleasure shows that you know, most people probably don't like, but I like. But tell me in the comments below, what are your favorite Guilty Pleasure shows? Do you think my shows are Guilty Pleasures? And what you liked, what you dislike on this list? Tell me in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. Bye.